Sure, I love the Turkish get up, but the sooner that you understand how it becomes a blueprint for movement and one that you can get creative with, the sooner you're going to fall in love with the Turkish get up too and have it in your program in a way that really assists the way that you want to move and the way that you want to build strength. So the first version of a Turkish get up that I want you to start considering is something called the Turkish get up press. Now you don't necessarily have to do all of these presses, but here are the presses that you can be doing with the Turkish get up to improve shoulder strength and stability from odd and awkward positions. If you do just want to have an element of hypertrophy for your shoulders to bring, build stronger delts, then by all means you can be overloading your shoulder by adding in all of these different presses in the Turkish get up and run the rack, so to speak, as you build the weights up through the Turkish get up. You could be doing this with a normal racked position or a bottoms up position if you really want to focus on grip strength and shoulder stability. The next version of a Turkish get up that I'd like you to consider is the step over Turkish get up. Now here we have a version of the Turkish get up that is going to massively favor improved thoracic mobility in the way that you include the Turkish get up in your program. By having this element of stepping over in the routine and keeping your elbow to the floor, eyes on the kettlebell, your thoracic mobility is going to be challenged. And as a result, you'll also be go going to be adding in something similar to the kettlebell armbar into this movement, which is going to drastically improve the way that your shoulder stabilizes through awkward positions. I've used the step over Turkish get up as recovery days that have included windmill positions from the top as a lovely way to really improve mobility by using the Turkish get up in both strength days and recovery days. If you want to see that mobility drill, hit the card. The next version of this for you to think about is the no hand get up. Now this massively increases the amount of intensity that you have to really develop in your trunk and your core because there's no assistance from the empty hand in helping you go from lying on your back on the floor to getting up and moving through those positions. You have to be able to generate sitting up power through your trunk with no assistance from any other limbs plus the overhead kettlebell position is going to challenge your mobility. So this is a nice way to, to add both mobility and ab strength into the Turkish get up in a way that is far more challenging than the normal positions. The last example of this that I have for you to think about today is the goblet hold get up. Now by using both hands on the kettlebell and coming up through your Turkish get up, you're gonna find this a massive hip mobility drill. By having that kettlebell overhead as you go through those positions in your legs, it's really going to challenge the amount of core stability you have and your ability to go through internal and external rotation of your hip while in the seated position. It's a nice addition to the Turkish get up and another way for you to think about playing with it in your routine and using the Turkish get up as a blueprint and a model for movement rather than feeling restricted by it and only being able to do it in one way every single time you do it in the week. So there's four versions of a Turkish get up that you may not have considered including in your program. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you start falling in love with the Turkish get up in the same way that I did many years ago and including it in your program to make your hips strong, your legs strong, your shoulders bulletproof, and your core iron. The Turkish Get Up is a blueprint for movement that offers you the opportunity to be creative. So please start thinking of it that way. And by all means, get creative, send me a video of the way that you've chosen to include the Turkish Get Up, because I'm sure I'm leaving a ton of different options on the table. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe because this channel only continues to grow because you support it. So by all means, share this with a friend if you think it will help them too. And I'll see you at the next one.